Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we have the Amazon Echo Buzz Generation 2 here, and these are the second generation of Amazon's own wireless Bluetooth earbuds that offer great features and compared to AirPods Pro and the Galaxy Buds and many of the flagship earbuds that many smartphone companies make. Amazon itself is not a smartphone company though, but they make great tech products for the value, and this is one of them. So in this video, we're going to be going over the great features that it offers, unboxing it, and also setting it up. And I'll show you the Alexa app that this connects to for your max usability with this. So as with any tech product, the main um, detail that you first begin with this unboxing experience and I think that's what puts the best impression and first impression for you with that tech product so let's start off with the unboxing experience first you can see here that on the front we have the Echo Buds name that says it has Alexa and it has active noise cancellation which is great on the right it says it has Bluetooth and is sweat resistant and the earbuds are actually IPX4 rated similar to the AirPods Pro and what that really means is that it is prone or like sustainable to light splashes or sweat or if you were to get stuck in a rainstorm these would be fine and these wouldn't get damaged in that much rain and what's in the box it includes a echo, the Echo Boats themselves its charging case which is necessary Four different sizes of ear tips, which is great because not many competitors offer four different sizes. Two sizes of wing tips, so if you think that the earbuds don't fit in your ear perfectly, or maybe your ear is designed in a different way, uh, you might need those. And a USB type C cable to charge the case and earbuds. Uh, what you need to set up the device and use it is the Amazon Alexa app that can be available on iOS and Android. You can also you also need Wi-Fi or mobile data connection and Bluetooth, which all are very basic nowadays, and I think you would have them. So, unboxing these from the top, you can see it just pulls up like that, and we have the charging case for the Echo Buds themselves. And here we say, it says to activate, download the Alexa app or open the case and wait for the blue light. So here's the case and it's in black color here. You can get the Echo Buds in two different colors, white and black. We have the black here. And underneath this, it says fit kit. So I probably am guessing that it's going to be the uh, wing tips and the four different sizes of tips in that. So you can see, pull that, you have this, flap to open, slide this out. Here are the four different sizes of the ear tips, there are four different sets. Here are the three different uh, wing tips that we have, Two ex one extra, just in case you were to lose or damage one and the USB Type-C charging cable. So that's it in the box. So let's get rid of this. And now I'm going to be reviewing the actual case. So to open the case, you just have to pull this tab right here. Open this up. And the earbuds come out like so. The case itself is pretty good to the hand. You can see that it has a magnetic clack to it, which is very similar to AirPods and many other uh, wireless earbuds. On the back, we have the USB Type-C charging port that can be connected via this cable here, as you can see. And we have the pairing button. Clicking that, you can see that these don't really have a charge in them, so we're going to have to charge these up so I can continue my further review. And next, I'm going to be showing you how to pair these to your smartphone via the Alexa app. Okay, so here I have the app open for the buds, and I keep uh, triggering the voice assistant, so I'm going to try to avoid seeing it because I just did it again. And so in order to set up your earbuds, all you have to do is go to devices on the you can either open up your earbuds and they should work, but if that does not work for you, click on all devices, click on the plus icon, click add, then click Amazon Echo on all devices, and then in, uh, under the section Echo on the go, just click on Echo Buds. 
So then it's going to find your earbuds like it just did here, Echo Buds 000X. Then it says your device supports Alexa. Going to enable that. Now the Echo Buds are paired, which is great. So one downside is though the Bluetooth turn, uh, stays on even if the earbuds are in your case. So please disable your Bluetooth manually through your control center on your phone or on any device. And it says that the wingtips are optional but might, may provide a user more secure fit. Clicking on next, let's take the ear tip fit test and tells you if the pre-installed medium ear tips, small, uh, large or extra large are best for you. For me, I usually work with medium, but let's see what it says here. And I won't be able to talk during the ear tip fit test. So it feels like my right ear is pretty bad. So I'm going to have to change that on my ear. And it's actually uh, pretty interesting to see that my ear canals are basically different on both my ears and quite different, honestly. So to control audio, you can just quickly play or pause your podcast or music by tapping on the side and it has a haptic touch to it. To skip the track or to answer an end of call, just double tap either earbud. To play the previous song, just triple tap either earbud. And to toggle ANC, which is active noise cancellation and pass through, which is basically transparency mode on the AirPods Pro, just tap and hold on the either earbud. Next, you can see that you can do workouts with Alexa. And basically you can click, uh, create a workout profile so your uh, voice assistants can help you with their workout with their Echo Buds. Now I already have my height selected here, so I'm just gonna click next. And let's go. So basically that is it for the setup process. Then here you have all the settings for your Echo Buds. And as you can see, mine are the second generation Echo Buds 000X. So you have your battery status at the top, 98% on my left, 98% on my right, and 100% case. Power safe, which turns off ambient sound modes, the voice assistant, and a lot more other things so you can extend the earbud's battery life. Here in ambient sound control, you can also toggle between pass through and active noise cancellation, or you can just disable both of them and it will be like a normal pair of earbuds. As you can see right now, I have active noise cancellation enabled. Then you can also enable Alexa hands-free, which is uh, the voice assistant, and you can use it so you don't have to take out your phone every time you do something minor. The side tone is when in, you're in a call and you want to hear your own voice through the mic, which is kind of like you hear yourself talk. I'm going to have that disabled because I don't really like that feature and it gets annoying for me. But in customization is where it all happens. In tap controls, you can quickly uh, adjust your taps, like what the single tap does, what the double tap does, triple tap does, or holding on it does. You can also reset the settings to their default, which it's at right now. Next, you also can customize the equalizer. And what the equalizer is that it can customize how much bass you want, uh, how much mid-tones, treble, and a lot of other things. So mo most people have noticed that the treble was a little bit too much uh, for them. So many people kind of like it to have it to the low. And what I like it is that you can adjust it anywhere you want precisely, really. You can choose where, exactly where you want it to be. And here's the ear to fit test, which we already did. And that's about it. So you can customize your profile here. And you can also do check out your workout history, which I haven't tested out yet. So that's about it for the earbuds themselves. You can see that there's lots of features in the app themselves and on the earbuds, which was great. Okay, so I just wanted to quickly show you guys what I think is important. Uh, is the design of the earbuds before we get any further. And after this, I'm going to do a sound quality check and let you guys know what it sounds like. Okay, so bringing it up close, you can see that the case is made out of plastic and it has the charging port on the back as well as the pairing button, which triggers the light. And the green light means that it's powered uh, to 100% and it's full battery. Blue light means it's in pairing mode. Opening the case, you can see that you have the two earbuds and two different lights saying that the earbuds are charged. 
the earbuds themselves. Taking one out of the case, you can see that it becomes blue, which means it's in pairing mode now and it's going to find your device. So you can see that has gloss on the, in, uh, uh, the inner half of the earbud and on the outside, it has a Amazon logo, which is hard to see without proper lighting, but there's a very faint Amazon logo right there, if you manage to see it, but it's made out of plastic and it's like a matte black finish. The ear tips themselves are made out of silicone and the inner part is also made from plastic. The inside of the case is also from plastic. So it's pretty much all plastic all around besides the gloss on the inner half of the earbuds, but that's all I see that's other than plastic. So now let's begin on the actual sound quality. Okay, so I have the earbuds in my ear. They feel very snug, so that's good. And here on the app, I have bass to the max. And that's because I'm a very bass heavy person. It might not be you, but you can adjust that through the equalizer here as well. But I love bass and I feel like bass is one of the most important things for me in music. So here I have a pretty good bass song pulled up too. And it's called Hippie Sabotage Devil Lies, uh, Extreme Bass Boosted. So I'm going to be testing out the actual bass and how loud and how bassy can they actually get. So playing it off, you can tell for like right off the bat that they get very loud, which is a great thing because if you're walking outside, if there's traffic and with the noise cancellation on, these can get decently loud. So skipping to the bass part, that feels amazing. So it has enough bass that it can actually vibrate your ears. So it's not too low. And remember again, it's on max. So I'm going to put that to the zero again in the middle. And it still feels pretty good. But the one downside I just noticed by doing that is that tweaking the equalizer doesn't do too much of a difference. Like if I was to keep, keep everything on max right now, it does not make a huge difference, honestly. Like if I had bass on the bare minimum, I can still feel the bass. So it's not a huge difference. It still vibrates my ears. So the equalizer does not help too much. Taking one out of your ear though, uh, it automatically pauses the music. As you can see here, putting it back in my ear, it plays the music by itself. So that's about it for this video. Again, these are half the price of the AirPods Pro and they do compare pretty well with them. The active noise cancellation pass modes are pretty good. They're not as good as the AirPods Pro, but I'm going to be having a full in-depth comparison video to the AirPods Pro in another video. And stay tuned for that. Please subscribe. I hope you enjoyed and peace.